For more on the looming budget battle on the Hill, let's welcome Congressman Josh Gottheimer, who represents the 5th District of New Jersey. He's a member of the House Financial Services Committee, co-chair of the Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus. And Congressman Lance Gooden, who represents the 5th District of Texas. Gooden is also a member of the Financial Services Committee. Congressman, thank you both for joining us. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us. Congressman Gottheimer, I'll start off with you. What's your outlook here? I mean, the way Elon put it, it sounds like an uphill battle. You've gotten until the end of the month, then you're off on recess, you're back in the fall, and then that deadline looms. Well, obviously, it's, it's a lot on the plate, but I think we've got to deal with it. You know, you've got, you're going to hit a debt ceiling, so we've got to address that. You've got budget caps, as were mentioned, that have got to be raised, especially if we're going to address the military needs. And I think we've heard clearly from the Defense Department that we must do that, not just because we need things like a pay raise, which I think are critical to our active duty, but of course equipment and long-term planning. These short-term punts down the road, obviously it's no way to run a government. And I think what we need to do is actually have long-term planning so we can build what we need, be prepared and be ready, and obviously take care of everything at home, our vets, our homeland security, our infrastructure. But really, I think they're exactly right that we have to be, we have to be thinking of these as a package and work together right now. Congressman Gooden, where do you stand in relationship to, to the Budget Resolution Committee? I mean, is the administration uh, helping or hurting the process here? Well, first I'll echo everything my colleague from New Jersey said. He's absolutely right. We have to come together. Based on what I've seen in the first six months, I think my colleague would agree it's very difficult uh, to see consensus among the Senate and the House. And hearing what I'm hearing, that the administration and the Senate are disagreeing, when Republicans are disagreeing, we know that the Democrats are going to disagree when we finally get to the end of the road here. So we're hoping that there's some consensus in these next few weeks before we go to the August recess. I mean, hope's a great strategy, right? No, it's not, <laughs> Congressman Gooden. So, yeah. so, so how, do you, how do you get past that when you have divisions within your own party? Well, I think that the Senate and the House leadership have got to work together. What we saw the last few weeks before we headed to the 4th of July recess was the Democrats actually came together at the very end reluctantly, and we all agreed on the border funding package. I think we'll get to the point where we have to come to consensus again. Some of the far-left radicals of the House Democrats are not going to like anything that Nancy Pelosi does. It's not going to be good enough for them. But I think when we get to the end of the road, you'll, you'll see agreement, and this will all work out. Congressman Gottheimer, can you characterize within your party what the disagreements may be and where you might find common ground? Well, as, as was just pointed out, there's always disagreements uh, and by, with both sides and the White House. Our job, and we were able to just do it, as you pointed out, in the humanitarian aid package that we got to the border to help children um, before, before uh, July 4th. Um, the key now is how do we come together again? And you know, you're, even if you're, you have those disagreements, the key is to stay at the table. Um, I co-chair the Problem Solvers Caucus. One thing we've been focused on on, on the budget deal is actually sitting at the table, not leaving, got to do the same thing with the White House. We all actually have to get it done. It's how you do it in business, and it's how you should do it in the real world. And you're going to, it's okay, you're not going to get everything you want, but you have to get most of what you want. The key is making sure the country gets what it needs and the people at home get what they need. And I, I think, you know, if we focus on the priorities, whether it's infrastructure or making sure our defense is strong and taking care of priorities, taking care of the VA and the veterans, which is another big issue, you can't just ignore these problems and keep hunting. It's what we've been doing in Washington. You've got to be willing to make the tough decisions. And, and I think we can come together and get it done. And I think my colleague's right. It's, it's never easy, but the key is just to stay at the table until it gets done. Uh, I was, Josh, I'm confused. I, I, I was like trying to study up for this and I, I was, I, I opened up your notes and it said higher taxes are stifling <laughs> economic growth for North Jersey. So I said, oh, I, I, I opened up uh, Congressman Gooden's uh, uh, yeah, notes. And, and then I looked, is that a mis did you really say that? <laughs> I think we need lower taxes. Wait, and whoa, I, whoa, I think whoa, we, whoa. Yeah. slow down, slow down. <laughs> Wait. See, we got, we got you. Okay, so you're the Republican and, and, and uh, Congressman Goodness. Uh, did we mess up the labels on, on you? No, you know, there are plenty of Democrats that are for fiscal responsibility. Yeah, oh yeah. You know? yeah, I see that a lot. Uh, if, for, for the borders. If, huh? if, every Democrat, if, every, if every Democrat in the U.S. House was like was Josh, like Josh I then know. Things, I, would, things would move very smoothly. I've said that uh, before, but I don't know how long it's going to last. Or how, why don't you just do what you should do, Josh? Just, I mean, the, the lights have been left on by the Republicans for you. Why don't you just make the move? Or, I mean, or it, how do we get, how about I'm focused on making sure the Democrats, you know, come in the middle, and I sit with my friends the, and the Republicans in the middle, and we get miserably. it done. You're failing at that. If these, if these are the, what we're seeing with your efforts right now. Um, well, I think the system, right, I think you would agree that overall, we're, we're overall, we've got to do a better job, you know, and I think we all have to be talking to each other, and I think the fact that we're coming together on this 
and we're going to have to keep coming together, and you all have to keep the pressure on us, which is what I think is important. That's what we're, we're kind of trying to do that. I, I mean, it is, um, I mean, even the speaker is having trouble wrangling some of the, uh, of what's going on there, don't you think? She has no control, I don't think. She can't say anything negative or, or try to get, you know, get, bring any rationality to that, to that wing without getting criticized herself. It's a mess right now, really. I don't right. see how you ever well I, think the the extra, well, I think, as you know, extremism on either side is the problem and all the screaming is the problem. We need more people actually willing to get things done. And, and I think the speaker also is, is working at that as well, and she's standing up to extremes. And, and it's not easy, but it's what you have to do. And you've just got to, we have to come together to actually fix these issues and solve problems instead of just screaming at each other. And, you know, on, the, on your show, you can actually have a constructive conversation, turn on other stations, and it's just screaming. That's all they want is that. And that's because they think it's entertainment. We've got work to do to govern. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the only problem right now. Uh, Congressman Gooden, what do, I mean, wh where are you think we need to go with this. You, I, are, you, I, are you optimistic or hopeful that anything happened between now and the 2020 election? I, I'm not. I'm optimistic that we get this budget problem resolved before September, but Josh makes a good point. He didn't say these. Don't quote Josh on this, but the fact that Nancy Pelosi is the moderate voice in the Democratic uh, Party is, speaks to what we're dealing with in the U.S. House. The far left extreme, which is not Josh, um, have really caused problems with Nancy Pelosi. Uh, and her leadership, and we've seen um, a lot of interesting things over the last six months. But I think it's foolish to believe that any real meaningful reform will happen before the next well, election. And I'm just going to say, it's going to take the House, well, it's not just the House, it's going to take the Senate, too, and the White House. So the, the three sure. of us have to get together. I think we can get something done on prescription drugs, I think, in front of us. We have to keep working on infrastructure. I think you're right that we can get something done here on, uh, on the debt ceiling and the budget. You know, there are issues we have to take on and have to get done. We have no choice, and we better do them. That's right. Josh, how are we going to get rid of salt? I don't see how we need to, and, and you know, as a overall, I, I, I sort of have uh, sympathy for the idea of, of, uh, of, of, what ha of what the tax reform did in terms of getting some of these profligate states to, to get their own act together, and it should, you know, the rest of the country shouldn't be. Uh, you know, shouldn't be subsidizing all their, their spending. But then again, I live in New Jersey, and I just can't believe what... what Living uh, in Jersey, we're the, we wow. are the king subsidizers of other states. I like states. when people tell me I'm rich and I got a big tax break, and I'm like... Well, as you know, what the big problem is, is that we keep in Jersey subsidizing other states, right? I call them moocher states. We keep taking, and they keep taking our, going <laughs> like into our pockets and taking our dollars. Do you hear so, that, Congressman So, so part of the fiscal responsibility is actually... The other states, like, I didn't Is go after Texas. Is this MSNBC but... or CNBC? I'm trying to get a, uh, some fighting and arguing started here, like the other <laughs> channels here, Josh. Congressman Gooden, he's, he's pointing directly at you with that, uh, that criticism, I think. He's, he's just too reasonable some days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we agree. Let's lower yeah. taxes, get our budget done. It sounds like we've agreed.